Hi, my name is Eugenia Lienikova and I help spiritual men and women create and design a relationship they love. Welcome to my life. I haven't been on in a while and I thought let me just jump on and see how you guys are doing and just as well bring you some value. So I'm very excited about this topic because it is something that is really special to my heart personally. So today's topic is, are you giving your power away? Hmm. So I'm working with people all over the world and very often I hear a question, how can I stop giving my power away? Um, like how can I stop doing that? People don't even realize when you do when they're doing that. Do you know anybody like that? Or perhaps you're one of those people. Well, in today's life, I would love to share with you uh, actually what is happening when you give your power away. How does it affect you, people around you, and altogether your mental state and well-being? never mind relationships with yourself and other people. So if you're ready, then let's begin. So given power away, I have made some notes actually. Um, so what is giving power away? And giving power away is when you actually give to somebody responsibility making decisions without you having a say in it. Like example of that would be, it's like, hey honey, let's go to the theater. Um, okay. Hey honey, let's go to the shops. Okay. Hey honey, let's go to, uh, for a walk. Okay. And, and actually when sometimes you don't feel like um, going to the theater or sometimes you don't feel like going to the shop or sometimes you don't feel like going for a walk maybe you have a headache maybe something like that but you do things anyway or let's say it could be as little as okay um, what would you like for dinner oh I don't know hi lady Spencer oh what would you like for dinner and it would be, oh, you choose. So you choose. And then it's like, oh, I wish that we would have steak. Well, honey, then I have asked you, what would you like for dinner? And you said nothing. Therefore, you like kind of gave the responsibility of making that decision to me. And now you're not very happy with the outcome. Well, this would be a very, very prime example of giving the power away. And how does it work? It's like it starts with a very, very subtle things like um, having a dinner and perhaps not once in the same things for dinner, but one of the uh, people in this relationship would be like not sharing that because, oh, but I don't want to upset you. You're cooking and you can choose what you want to cook, but um, I don't want to upset you. But then when you sit down at the table and you're not really enjoying what you eat in, then all this effort went into preparing that meal and you actually cannot even enjoy that because it's not something that you have chosen. So then your, um, <clears throat> your partner is upset, you are upset, well, First, in the first place, you didn't want to upset your partner of choosing what you want for dinner. But then what happens then at the dinner table when you like given all power away to choose what you're going to eat and you didn't like the choice, then neither you or your partner or people around you, like let's say their children or guests or whoever, are happy because you have made the decision that you will leave that power in the hands of somebody else who's gonna make a decision for you, which like most often is not the best decision. Sometimes is, sometimes isn't. Let's be honest, it's hit and miss. But the truth of the story is uh, that always the person whom like when you're giving your power away 
always gonna be a bad guy whether it's like man or a woman it doesn't really matter when you give away the power of making the decisions for you to somebody else that person always going to be a bad guy because they can't please you every single time and this is the the truth of it it's like they can't they can't make a dinner that you like every single time because you choose take responsibility away from making a decision so you wouldn't be a bad guy and then it's like give all the responsibility it's like giving a key to the happiness to somebody else and then say it's like hey you're responsible for me being happy so without is like this is yours this is your responsibility well in the whole truth how can somebody be responsible for your happiness this is too big a responsibility and it like if you don't know what makes you happy and you can't speak up about your own happiness and your decisions and your desires the other person has nothing to do with that they can try make you happy all they like but i can tell you what this is not going to work and sooner or later it becomes hard because what happens you are trying to look good so you don't have any responsibility it's like oh yeah but i'm not responsible for making this decision oh it's not me who cooked this steak it's it's him or oh, it's her so when they cook the steak and the steak like maybe other people didn't like it who at the table is like oh but it's there like it's not me which is fine okay at the dinner table but then when it's involved when the bigger decisions involved or when many 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 decisions like that are there so um, consequently you start thinking you know um your needs are not met because not you who's making a decision like where are we gonna go tonight what we're we gonna eat tonight let's say where are we gonna go for holidays what we're we gonna do on the weekend are we gonna um uh, spend some time with our friends what friends you know and all those decisions you know maybe some of them are not even that big but all of those decisions day in and day out they add up and when they add up and you have no say in that because you choose chosen to stay in the in the shadow of your own desire you know that you would like to go to to this restaurant and you know that you would like to eat italian tonight but you choosing to keep quiet so not to offend your partner because oh they might get upset if you're gonna tell them something that is different to their opinion or decision but then when you don't say that you are offending not only them you're offending yourself and people around you because let's be honest um, lots of you know that everything is energy and everything and everyone around us is energy and transmit energy so imagine this right have you ever had um a situation where somebody around you is upset and you walk into the room and you can feel that there is an atmosphere you can cut it with a knife that is like like walking on the eggshells you know what i mean so can you imagine when you are uh holding back expressing what do you really want you first of all you're giving your power away second of all you letting not only yourself down you letting everyone around you down because you never know perhaps your idea was the best idea that was there at the time and also more than anything perhaps other people or your partner would much rather do what you want to do to make you happy instead of you like really trying to please and 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 try to look good which is eventually led you to be untrue to yourself like when you really don't want to do something but you really drag yourself to do that how can you be happy in doing so 
You cannot even like seeing your partner smile at the cost of your own happiness. Is it really worth it? Where you could actually have a conversation with your partner and say, like, hey, listen, I know you want to go for um, for Indian meal today, but you know what? I really fancy like a pizza. Uh, what do you think about that? And you can start a communication and you can start your negotiation and you can trust me, trust me, trust me. You can be happy in your decisions. Even perhaps you can go to the restaurant where is a mixed menu. So your partner gets Indian, you get pizza, everyone's happy. You know what I mean? So when you communicate your true desires, not only you do a service to yourself, but also you do a service to the people around you. And most of the time is those closest to you, those closest who you don't want to offend, but then end up offending them and yourself on much bigger scale. So it's not only like being untrue to yourself when you give your power away, but it's also actually letting yourself and people around you down. So I really, with this video, I really want to um, give you an opportunity to think about what is your behavior with your desire? How is it like? Do you actually do what you want to do? Do you and not only do what you want to do, but when you're in a relationship, in a relationship with your partner or with your friends, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be like engaged or married or whatever. And if you are, that's great too. Pay attention to how are you behaving in your relationship, in your communication with other person, because this is the signs of codependency when you're trying to please your partner without actually acknowledging what do you want and sharing that so we are very quick to share oh i don't want that i don't want that but try to shift your thinking and think what do you want because this is where the gold is our gold is in our desires what do we want so I hope that this video helps. I'm very passionate about making desires to become a uh, reality, physical reality for people. And if you have any questions, please um, comment below. I would absolutely love to talk about that. And if or perhaps private message me, whatever works for you best. And I would absolutely love to hear from you and see and hope that this video have helped you to realize something about yourself or perhaps somebody you know. So on this note, I wish you a fantastic rest of the day and take care. Lots of love. Bye.